Hello. Today we'll show you how you can set up your Airtable to automate all your social media assets so you don't have to juggle around dozens of Photoshop files ever again. So let's dive in. For this image automation we are going to need an Airtable base and Placid. We are going to start with setting up Placid first. Let's start by creating a new project. We click the Add New Project button, we give it a title and we have to select the type Airtable. And then we hit Create Project. After creating our project, we can already start building and designing our templates. So we just click Create Template. There we can either start off of preset that we created for you and we can alter that or we can start from scratch with a new canvas. But for the sake of this tutorial, I will create a Pinterest template now off of a preset. I will just select one. Let's go for this one. Hit customize design. And now we are right in our editor. You can think of a Placid template as a Photoshop template where it consists of different layers, images, texts, just rectangles, shapes, browser frames. And uh, by the end of this tutorial, Placid should be able to take data out of your Airtable, fill it into a template and then create this image for you to save it back into your Airtable. This is the basic flow how, how this should work. And so you can easily create dozens of images off of one template or multiple images just off of one record in your Airtable. So I will just keep this, hit save, close it. For our next step, we have to connect our Airtable account to this specific Placid project. For that, we switch over to the project settings. There we see the field Airtable API key. And this is what we have to fill. We get our API key from our Airtable account. Under the section API, you can see your key in this field. You can just click in there, then you can see it, copy it, paste it here, hit update project and you're done. I'm not doing it, so I won't leak it here on video. And then it's connected. In our final step, we are going to create actions. The action is the place where you can define which Airtable fields should be put into which layers of your template. So we know how we should create the images for you. I created a demo Airtable base for our imaginary food block with our five recipes and we want to create three different images per recipe. So we can share them then easily on social media and don't have to worry about Photoshop templates or making them one by one and stuff like that. So to do that, we have to create a new action. We go on the actions, click add action, we give it a name, Pinterest, Pinterest. Then we have to get our base ID. You can just click this link here. Then we can copy it from here, paste it. Then you need the table name. The table name is this one on the top left of your Airtable base. You can copy that, recipes. Then in the third step, you're going to map the Airtable fields onto the fields of your template. So we have just one template and this template consists of three layers. We have a big image layer, we have a title and we have an URL. So we have to fill those and the image background image should be filled through our image column here, uh, the image field, which is called image. So we are going to paste it in here. The title field, <clears throat> the title layer should be filled by the post title in our air table. And the URL should be filled by URL. This is basically it. Now we know which fields we can put into which layers. In the last step of this action, you have to define where you want the image. So after it gets created, uh, we want an image to be put into our Airtable here, into this attachment type field of Pinterest. So we call this Pinterest, hit create action, and this was it. Every action that you create has basically two options. 
uh, you can run it in a test mode where you just see demo images created from your data or you can run it. This will also save them back into your Airtable. Let's just do that now. Let's click run, head over to Airtable and pretty quick we should see those new images rolling in. Nice. They are already being created. They are saved now into your Airtable. Let's have a look. We have our image here, we have the title here, and we have the URL here. Our set URL is a little bit too long for an image, so let's fix that quick. Let's go back into our templates, edit this template. Um, I think we should have our fixed URL of our imaginary block here, which is called nomfoods.com. Now we save the template. Now we have to adapt our action so we don't fill in the URL. Let's see. We don't want to fill the URL in here. We want to keep the default, which is just nonfoods.com. We hit update. And now we can just regenerate our images by deleting them here, clicking run. And now you've already seen how, how quick you can make changes to all of your images, re just regenerate them, have a new design, create variations of them and use them right away. Nice. Now let's add another Pinterest template and the Instagram feed one, just so you can see how quick and easy you can do that. Let's create two new templates. Another one for Pinterest. Let's pick a nice one. Oh, this one is nice. Okay. And then we need a feed image for Instagram. This is this aspect ratio. And let's pick a matching one for the first Pinterest image. Let's pick this. Nice. Now we can rename it. Pinterest, Pinterest number two, and Instagram feed. Here we go. Now we head back to our actions, and now we are just going to duplicate it. So we come into duplicate screen, which is essentially just the creation screen. We alter our values here. We select our uh, Pinterest number two template. There we can fill our table names again. I think this was just image. The call to action text in this template is this one. We just keep it to read now. And the title is post title. And we want it to be output into our Pinterest 2 field. Let's create it. Duplicate it again. This is then our Instagram feed image. We are picking the Instagram feed template, filling it out again. Now I know it. Image, post, title. Ah, and we have to, to change the URL again. We keep it default and we want it to be filled into our Instagram feed field. Let's go into our template quick, fix our URL. Numfoods.com, save it, close it, and we're done. Now we can just hit run. On, our, on both of our new actions and they should come in. Here we go, perfect. Now we have easily three new images per record in our Airtable. All filled with the same data, all beautiful 
and not much work to do from your side. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you. So that's it for this automation. You will find a link to our blog post with a step-by-step -step recap of this tutorial in the description. Try it out and tell us what you think.